have to have two options, left and right, at all times. So, Kyle, comes here. Now, you have two options, right? You have that option or that option. That's okay. Okay. Now, yes, there you go. Slide over. Go, go. This is a four-corner passing drill. It's played with four players on a 10 by 10 grid. It's good for players of almost any age group from advanced U10 players all the way to college or professional. That's a great game for teaching passing, receiving, movement off the ball, decision making, and for the defender, it teaches you how to cut down passing angles. But more than anything else, this drill teaches players without the ball to get square to the player with the ball. Getting square means creating a 90 degree passing angle. Ideally, the offensive player with the ball should always have two passing options, to the left or right. The defender should have to work hard to steal the ball or to force it out of bounds. There are two ways to play this game that can make it either harder or easier on the defender. One way to play is to only require the defender to touch the ball to get out of the middle. Whoever touches the ball last, before the defender steals it or the ball goes out of bounds, becomes the man in the middle. To make it harder on defenders, you can require that they have to steal the ball or force the attackers into a mistake, passing the ball out of bounds. As a coach, you want to ensure that players are receiving the ball in corners. This means that players need to work hard off the ball. Players that receive the ball in the middle of the square will have more difficult passing angles. The defender can pick the ball off more easily. It helps to tell players to keep moving and to play the ball quickly. Use the corner, there you go. Use the corner, look at the left